Hey everybody. Whoa. Welcome to the two hour track challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns and Derek and I'm writing a song in two hours or less. Seems a bit quiet in the yard, but that's okay. We'll uh we'll get rolling and hopefully people will show up as we go. Um I don't really have much for plans today. Just trying to keep on keeping on with uh all the general craziness. There's so much going on. Just day to day for me right now it's kind of crazy kind of annoying honestly like i'm so, i got so used to not having to deal with that kind of stuff and then all of a sudden everything is happening um which is a little little tough to tough to chew through um but you know that's kind of just life Tough to digest. Either way. Um, I'm trying to think of like... What is a, what's a cool thing to do? It's not really the right right instrument for that. But I think that could work, that cadence, that vamp or whatever you want to call it. Vintage organs is not what I want. Actually, more maybe something like this. I like that. Take this. Cause then we're go basically we're going, which I like. That's very common for me to do. Yeah, we can end on something really warm. Okay, I'm just gonna lay out chords right now. I'm not gonna record like live. I just wanna get these out there. doing another song that's like 58 beats per minute like i'm here for that but <laughs> let's go fucking buck wild with this if we're gonna do it Okay, I think this should work. Five, six. Six. 
Okay, screwed up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, oops. This is very going to be very atmospheric. But that's okay. Anyway, I'm not sure what the plan is for this, but I really like this really like kind of dark and chill vibe. It, it reminds me a bit of the Maker's Eden soundtracks, um, especially the menu music, which I those are my favorite songs to make. This chord is not interesting. So. I've definitely used this chord before a lot. Remember, remember to save. save. Hey, yeah. Remember to save. So this is not exciting, so let's change this around a little bit. Resolve that. Closer. Um, Cadence in there sounds weird. textures to go with that but I kind of like this. It's like some kind of really loose, jazzy kind of thing. Maybe I could try to do some actual uh, bass guitar on this.
So I know that this causes noise in my microphone, which I kind of wish it didn't. One of these days I'm going to have a better audio setup. Now, we'll just deal with what we can. up way too loud. figure out my chords here. just re-record the whole thing. I think I have a better idea of what I want now at least. So let's throw some shenanigans on here and then we can get going. It's kind of a weird track, but that's okay. played bass in so long and this six beat count in kind of sucks
that's at least something. Really kind of like that mushy sound to it, so. But I don't want it to be too bad, so I'm actually gonna throw my own realm on here and really cut out the lows. Because I want it to sound like it's just in an abandoned warehouse somewhere. You know? got something here like it's not typical of what I've been making lately but that's okay like I, I kind of I kind of like this but it needs texture this is one of those songs that kind of live on texture so let's let's find some um, uh, field recording stuff doesn't have to be a lot but just like and I don't want to do rain I do rain all the time I was kind of thinking of something a little bit more I thought that I had something with like shuffling papers yeah I mean this is a short sample but we'll at least be able to see if this is something that is valid got uh, some raw materials to work with here. I want to see if I can find a muted trumpet. I think that would sound really cool here. I'm pretty sure I have one. Vibrato, Grace, 
staccato growl. No. Trumpet one, trumpet two. Does trumpet two have it, or is it just? Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. But that's how it goes. I mean, you can kind of do your own muted trumpet just by, like, low passing it, but I was kind of hoping that I could get... Something just right from that. Remember yeah. to save. I was kind of thinking about it. How you doing, Husk? I know this song is definitely outside of the realm of what I've been doing so far. Uh, in this season, which I'm honestly fine with. Like, I was talking to my buddy Shaka Panda yesterday, and um, he was talking about, like, kind of mental approaches to creative work. And one of the things that always happens to me is that I'm like, oh, this song is good, the next one's going to be better. Oh, this song's good, the next one's going to be better. And then I have this, like, super high expectation, and then I just train wreck. So... I'm kind of thinking that if I do something completely different, it'll be good. I'm doing all right. You know, uh, the breath controller would work better if I actually like tied it to something. <laughs> I was like, why isn't this working? Um, not the ideal uh, knob to control but I think it sounds good though like just from that little bit it sounded good oh, wrong octave I kind of dig this sound. Whew. Deep breaths. Um, so I don't know. Like this is this is definitely outside of what I've been doing lately. Yeah, very noir. Um So I kind of want to get like three two or three of these that I can alternate. Actually, let's leave them down here so I can um, hit the, they're going to be on their own effect bus anyway, so I might as well just leave them down here so I don't have to fiddle around with buses inside of drum rack because that's always a pain in the, the booty butt. Um, so... Yeah, there's a test. Okay. 
Okay, I think these need to be spaced out more. Yeah, you can go like that. can't change these envelopes while um, the, the song is playing because um, that messes up the automation. I like this I like I, th I think having some kind of counter melody is nice but maybe we can do with um, an actual instrument you know well, I might keep that around but I think that Could always do a trombone. Tenor trombone. Mute. Oh, there's a mute trumpet right there. I just can't read. Okay. And this. Okay. It only affects. Okay. Thank you. 
timing issues in here. I think it was this. Yeah. So there's some timing issues that I need to sort out, but otherwise, I like that. Okay, and obviously, we need brushed drums. Like... The... Um, so... I don't know if this song is going anywhere, but... See, with these stir ones, I don't know if I should... <clears throat> I don't know if I should put them in as, like, clips. Trying to like get an interesting kind of implied rhythmic thing out of this too. I think this could be something like. Where's the flam? I think this is going somewhere. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a very, like... Yeah, none of these obviously work. I think these pulses will work better. Is if we do this like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I feel like leaning too much on these drums is actually going to cause a problem. Also, we have a lot of things that are happening out of time, which does not help. Um... Hardest. 
It's the artist. I don't know why. And and I know you said other people say that too, but it's like the first thing I read and I'm like, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> it's my brain. Uh, apparently we're making like some spicy noir stuff. Which I'm fine with. Remember to say here. I'll, I'll I'll play what we have. It's very basic. Um, So yeah, um, just kind of rolling with uh, this, but that's okay. Like I kind of dig it. Yeah, exactly. I actually played my bass guitar for the first time in like a year to do some very simple notes. I don't think we're gonna roll with the uh Maybe we can, because <laughs> that was kind of rad. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Like, I, I kind of want to keep this more acoustic sounding, but maybe getting, maybe getting some of that in there would be cool. Um, so first, first step here is let's, let's, uh, mess with the arrangement a little bit just so we have the intro going. Um, I don't really want to mess with the solos. How about... Let's just push this over. Let's push all of this over by uh, two bars. This is a weird-ass song. It's 58 beats per minute in 6-4 time. Um, Okay. Can I 
extend this out just to have these notes keep playing. Uh, and then, yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay, same thing with this, I think. I do like that it kind of just lingers a little longer than it should. Um, okay, so we're going to keep this. I'm just going to name it so I don't just delete it or overwrite it. Um, but I've been digging a lot of piano lately. And I kind of want to see if I can just do some super chill piano stuff over this. And maybe we can like heck with the chords a little bit too, but one thing at a time. Obviously that needs atmosphere, um, which is just reverb. Okay, so honestly, a lot of these are using a different instance of Raum. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna clump them all together and then just do this because that will give me the same effect, except I won't have to keep adding them. <laughs> Um, and then... Or it's a little too much for the piano. Uh, are you asking me, Husk? Um... No, it's all good. Um, it, also, eyes. I, I do agree that Labs stuff is is pretty good. I haven't messed with it a lot lately, but um, so this the chord progression for this is actually fairly simple. It's C minor to um, what would be B flat or A sharp minor. So. And then it's down to G. Actually, no, it's it's like the chord progression I use for everything except like super screwed up. So um, so yeah. So it's kind of the same chords that I use all the time. It is, I don't know if it's flat or sharp, but it's G sharp minor ninth with an add six, like way up top. Yeah, it's I, I just kind of found it by accident and I was like, that's neat. Um, and then I'm just rolling with it. And like any kind of jazz, like I'm 
I'm essentially treating the the scale of this song to be all 12 notes <laughs> and uh, we'll just go with that and uh and then we'll we'll enjoy that. So if we wanted to, we could we could heck around with this. I also wonder if we bring this up and then like lower the volume a little bit. Or alternatively, we keep the, the bass notes where they are and we just bring all this up. Okay. That's all good. No, I, I appreciate the random tangent. Um, I, I just, yeah, I didn't know that you were asking me specifically before. And I was like, oh yeah, uh, I love talking about this. You know me, this is like, this is why I stream because I want to talk about this stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Do that I do that so frequently hmm. how do I want to do this lost in my edits here. we can go and maybe add another trumpet bit here to fill in the blanks. I feel like we need to iterate on the drums a little bit more just to just to keep things uh, active. I don't think this will be good, but I want to hear how it sounds. It's actually, it's pretty good. Um, it's just loud. I, I kind of want um, kind of a closed hat, like, you know, or Thank you. 
Give it a little bit more of a pulsating sound, you know? And then this Remember is Remember to say is what, This is what's swung. Yeah, okay, so we can have like these little, little ghost notes in here that imply a swing. I have to sneeze. I apologize. Tito apparently doesn't want to be on camera. to take this piano out of this group though because holy cow it's way too much reverb which is unfortunate because I like how it sounds otherwise and I'd like to keep it a little bit less crazy <laughs> approach this now like th this song doesn't have to go anywhere like I think that it's just kind of good on its own we do need a name for it I guess it's been an hour I haven't even drank any of my tea how am I supposed to get anything done if I'm not caffeinated
could do. Maybe this is this is this might be overdoing it. Um But I wanna see. If this is like really far in the background, it should be okay. Um Just like No, too high pitched. But I'm thinking like some kind of rotary organ. No, oh, I high passed it too much. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be rad. Um I forget that you can't use the pedal with this because that actually changes the, the um if we bring it up an octave. Hmm. So there's an upper and lower manual here and I'm kind of skirting the edge between both. Let's try a different, uh, a different one. And that one might, that one might do the trick. I just, um, Yeah. That's closer to what I was looking for. So if we throw more reverb on that. So one thing I'm thinking here is that this is cool, but it's taking up too much space. And again, I want this to be in the background, but I also want to make sure that it's not overstaying its welcome. So what I can do, I think, is throw a wider on it so it can stay quiet, but also just kind of hold on in the background. Yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. And I can't go in here and change the... kind of hoping I could change like the um the decay of the notes but that doesn't seem to be the case so I am going to extend these a little bit more just so every every chord has a little breath between them you know Thank you. 
call this song. I want, to, I want to iterate on that. Five, six. lost my tempo um that's okay the drums are quiet and uh but i like how that sounds so let's do another one it's the same kind of structure but i'm trying to That gets a little warmer though. I don't know if I want to do that. And also it goes back into chords that I'm a little more comfortable with and we know we don't want that. Comfortable while writing music? So this would be do, do, do. no having the swing there doesn't work. Um, how does this fit together? It's very like quiet and I, and I need to I need to layer a bunch of other instruments with this, but I, I really wanted to have some more variety with things, you know? I I tend to just stick with what I have, and that's fine, but it's also a little boring sometimes, and I want to at least try to break out of the habits that I'm in. Um, you know, I just want to break out of the habits that I'm in. And it's so easy to stay in those habits. too loud. Okay, I got I got a good idea though. 
I also think we need like a, a ride symbol or something in there just to um remember to save hey everybody remember to save screwed that up, but I have a better idea. Also, it was crackly because of the remember to save. I think what I need to do is I need to get a stronger tempo in here because it's really kind of screwing me up actually. Um, so let's get like a basement kick. Something that has a little bit of a thud to it but not um, not something that really gets in the way. Where are my kicks? Over the head, overhead, overhead, crash, snare, tom. kick is super boring. Let's find a better one. I thought Basement Drums had some good kicks, but I guess not. I think Salamander does? I want something with a little bit of a rattle to it. Yeah. And work with me here. There we go. It just needs to be like a little bit longer because I screwed. No, I didn't screw it up. 
Ableton screwed it up. Um, that's reassuring. Um, so. I don't know, this is just like the land of weird solos. That's as high as that instrument goes. Okay. sharp major inverted um so that's why all of these sound bad um there we go Very quiet. Oh, yeah, that would be why.
going crazy. I hear ya. I hope things get better. Okay, so this is actually here. I'm also going crazy. I need a name for this song uh, because... chords too much now. You piano going crazy? That's kind of what it is, but... This is me losing my mind now. crazy toxic this song is neat but it really kind of hit a hit a wall Definitely need a name for it. to save. 
Hey everybody, remember to save. GPT say it says whispers in the shadows silent streets darkened halls midnight murmurs ultimately the name should capture the atmosphere and tone of the song and convey a sense of intrigue and ambiguity ambiguity I mean that ain't bad honestly really loves its alliteration which I can get behind big report started looking a simple turn up you bit dirt yeah sorry to hear that I know how that I know how that goes. Midnight Murmurs is pretty good. Also, uh, chat GPT, you need to learn how to use your punctuation. These commas should have been outside of the quotation marks. So uh, zero out of 10 for you. Um, you are listing quoted items the comma should be out of outside of the quotation marks woo getting sassy <laughs> oh man um <clears throat> I want to do some stuff here. I feel like this song needs to shift in some way. Um, I think I'm going to call it Midnight Murmurs, though, so that's cool. I can't think of anything else to call this, and it definitely fits the uh, M U R M U R S, right? So this might be a shorter song. I thought this song was going to be long because like we did the f we did like a minute and a half in the first 20 minutes and the rest of it has just been noodling around with things. don't know what to else what else to do to this you know and if it's a three and a half minute long song that's fine i 
really like it. Did the camera freeze? No, it's still coming. Tito's just sleeping. sounds, man. So we end here. Right? end here. You're gonna bake a potato. So we actually shifted things around quite a bit there, uh, but I like it. Um, so we are moving to 4-4 time. Also doing some interesting. Um, there we go. Come on, there we go. Um, yeah, we're just like holding on G, which is kind of neat. Posture. Ugh. Yeah. All the bass in this song is uh, the uh, all me. Oh right, and then it changes because uh, yeah.
Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, uh, it's been a long time since I've played the, the bass and I'm figuring it out all, out, all, bleh, all out again. Okay, I'm hitting that fret way too hard. Um, let's re, let's, let's, uh, change the past. Let's do it correctly. Son of a... Waste so much time waiting for the dang metronome. Ableton. One note. Um, I also think that we have an opportunity to add some more fun stuff with this. And then we're going to go here. That was way too loud. I'll get it right one of these times, so... Yeah, okay. hitting it that hard but it's still clipping I don't know if it's coming through on the recording or if it's just Ableton Okay, I finally got the loop done, so that's good. I think this is a good change of pace for the song. Um, and I don't know if we'll go back to the other bits of the song or if we'll just stick with this. thing that I'm thinking of yeah remember to save
Okay, so we need to uh, retool this to be a 4-4 four, four loop, which is honestly not that hard. It's just this, and then we're good. Um, well, not like that, though. 6-4. Split. And then do it. And then do the rest of those things. Because that's how Ableton works. You just gotta just do the thing, and you just gotta do the thing. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm not losing my mind. That? No, yeah, we're we're holding on the pedal tone a little too hard. Let's let's not lean into that too much. I think that works better. it needs to be cleaned up. I think I'm done with the bass guitar for this song. has to be a triangle because uh, sine waves are banned. It's the law. I'd say I don't make the laws, but in this case I do. man um there were some wrong notes in there but i really like the interplay between the i was getting a little too ambitious with some of this um which is fine Oh. 
Okay, so this part of the song, the reverb gets to be a little much. So I am going to tone that back a little bit. Not necessary. There's too many things going on. I just gotta I gotta keep it simple. I'm not good at keeping it simple. <laughs> not with a song like this. Um blah uh, blah 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 blah. Why am I not recording? Son of a bitch. Isn't a completely new part necessary, like right at the end of the song? No. Am I doing it anyway? Yes. This goes places, huh? Um, so I want to keep this one by itself, and then we'll basically just kind of have a jam session. Question mark? I don't. I don't really know. Like, <laughs> I don't know where this song goes, man. I'm gonna raise the raise the volume. 
That's a little bit more though. doesn't work with layering that's okay 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 Yeah, it sounds like you've been, you've been dealing with a lot. running low on time and we basically have the song done at this point like we could have a fade out here but i would really like to have like a kind of a what is it a recapitulation kind of like bringing everything together um you know Okay, what am I doing? So yeah, I'm just gonna have a fade out here, I think. So I'll just go like that, and I can just do whatever the crap I want. Yeah, just kind of a jam, you know? Screw 
it up both times. What scale am I in? <laughs> it's so easy, it's C minor. Why am I getting so screwed up? Okay. C major is easier. But I'm not in C major. <laughs> Problem. Jeez. Okay. I'm finding the limits of these instruments. Apparently C is the highest note that one can go. I think I, I think I'm done with this. Like I really like it, but I don't know if there's anything else I can do. You know. What do you mean by that? It's probably something I know, but I have no idea. Tom drums, Thomas drums. Um, why are they called Tom drums? Could add like a, a, a rim too. Isn't there a rim in here? Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're just like tom drums, right? We get this tap and move it over to this.
I do like how all this comes together. It's very pretty. Okay. Oof. Bass is a little loud, hey? Okay, I think we're I think we're good. Like there's more that could be done, but just for like a jam, I think this turned out pretty neat. It has some good variety to like the layering. I feel like this could probably go away a lot earlier. It's just kind of getting in the way. It's not like, you know, top 10, but I I really do like this song. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, we can bring this back here and then just kind of get rid of it again. I also like that it goes, you know, it goes between 6-4 and 4-4. Four, four. I, I need to do more, you know, changes like that. We'll listen to it again. So it's a lot quieter at the start. When the bass comes in, we'll see how much the bass is affecting everything else. Not as much as I thought, but I think I was hitting it harder near the end. going to give this a listen through because there's a lot of dynamic range in this so I don't want to make sure nothing's really blasting out. I think overall it's good. It's such a, a shift from last week though, right? This is kind of the offender. I need to bring this back.
also like way louder. Am I hitting the velocity that much harder? Not really. I'm just gonna like straight up drop the gain on these a little bit. It's not the ideal way to handle this, but I also think we need to have a couple bars to like introduce this. I feel like everything just gets louder here. I give this a B plus. I like this a lot. Not like, like I said, not top 10 material, but honestly, I think it's really cool. Remember to save. Hey, buddy, remember to save. Um, and like I said at the start of the stream, um, I tend when I make a handful of good songs, or songs that I deem to be good, when I make a handful of those in a row, I tend to get um, in, my ho in my own head about this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll just make another good song next week. And it's like, I'll just do that again, why not? And then I get wrapped up in that idea. It's just like, oh man, this has to be a banger or else I'm, I'm going to be a failure as a musician. Um, this is going to pop. I apologize. Um, but I, um, I think that going like completely changing pace like this actually does us a lot of good where I wasn't like, oh man, I'm going to make another minimal house song today, or I'm going to do this. Like, I'm just going to go completely off the rails into something a little bit more like, ex not, it's not really experimental. It's not like I'm doing anything crazy with the genre, but like I more exploratory when it comes to like my creative approach. Um, and I think that this is a good way of, of breaking out of that cycle because that cycle is really self-destructive when it comes to like songs every week. Um, because then if I make a quote unquote bad song, or if I have like a bad stream where it's just like my brain isn't, isn't fully there, which, to a little bit to today was like that um that really knocks me off my creative momentum and then when i when i fall like when i fall and and i have to kind of rebuild all of that like the next couple streams are just like i have so much anxiety i like sit down and be like okay is today gonna suck too and sometimes it does and then that just like compounds like week after week until something good falls out of me again which eventually it does um, 
but I think completely shifting gears like this. And again, once again, I'm going with that yes and approach where it's just like I started with these cords. I'm like, all right, what can I do with this? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it turned out pretty cool. Um, so as far as like season 22 is coming together, we've got two more, two more weeks. Um, I really liked, I like all of these songs in season 22, aside from maybe, I think Kill Switch was this, uh, Kill Switch was this, this time around, wasn't it? No, it was Chasing Crop Circles. That one was all right. Um, but yeah, like we had some, we, we have some really good songs in this, uh, question mark uh we have some really good songs in this season and i'm very excited for it um but that's gonna do it for me i hope uh i hope y'all had fun today and i uh, you uh, i really appreciate you hanging out i it's it's a very quiet stream today which is fine like that's that's how it goes sometimes i don't really understand how twitch aggregates my channel sometimes i think i had like an average of one and a half viewers throughout the whole thing but you know that's okay um Either way, I hope if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, um, I hope you had a good time and I really appreciate you uh, hanging out. Something just blooped. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, I hope you had a good time and I, I really hope that you have a good remainder of your week. I am going to probably try to stream this weekend again. Uh, I'm really vibing on the, the video game stuff. I really want to keep working on uh, Raise the Dead. Um, partially because I want to get that to a point where I say it's done. Um, and partially because I've been having fun doing it and I want to keep doing it. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope y'all have a good rest of the day, rest of the week, and I will talk to you later. Love y'all and see ya. Bye. Oh, my ears. That was a fun song though. Yeah, Toxic. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate it. It was definitely a bit of a struggle. Like this song was not easy, but it was it was something different. And you know, I'm okay with something different. Man. It was one of those streams where two hours passed really fast. Sometimes like I look at the clock and it's like, oh it's only been twenty minutes, huh? <laughs> um but yeah, this time time went really fast and, and hopefully, you know, it was entertaining entertaining product. All right. See you guys later.